getting outside and uh, hitting up these stairs and doing so with this simple device right here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a hip circle. You know, stairs and running hills and stuff like that is very difficult. You got the resistance of your own body weight, but now we're adding in a little bit extra resistance with the hip circle. So this is gonna be working my hip flexors. It's also gonna be working my glutes. I'm gonna do about two stairs at a time. And as I transition to the next set of stairs, I'll be taking a little bit uh, longer stride. I'm gonna keep tension on the hips the entire time. And this is a great way to get a good workout in for your lower body, your hips, your glutes, your hand, hamstrings, quads, hip flexors, all that stuff. Here we go. One thing you want to do whenever you use a hip circle is make sure that you're in control of the tension. So each step is going to be very deliberate. I'm going to step, step out strong and I'm going to step a little bit wide on these because these stairs aren't that tall. So each time I'm going to flex the hip flexor, drive to the side, come up and do the same thing on the other side. Time you get to the top, your butt is burning. Going up the stairs sideways. This is really, really difficult. Do it slowly, do it under control. Flex really hard, take your time with it, and squat through it each time. Step out wide. Make sure you have enough room to place the other foot on the stair so you don't fall. Have your hands free, don't have your phone in case you fall. You've got the hip circle on, we're driving out hard this way. We're leaning this way and squatting that way. Leaning this way, driving through, driving the knee out, getting the pressure this way, and then coming up. Ass burner. <sighs> Building up that Kim K. Drive. We're not just we're not just going like this, okay? Make sure you're being thoughtful each, with each step. Be careful. Step out and drive out, drive that knee out. Drive the knee out to where your ankle is. Drive your knee out to where your foot is. Just like when we squat, just like when we sumo pull. Drive that knee out, we're here, bam. We're here, boom. We're here, Hoya. We're here. You gotta throw in those sound effects too. Squat through it, drive out, push up. There you go, there's a simple way you can incorporate the hip circle. If you don't have stairs, you can do this on a hill as well. You can do kind of like some, some walking lunges. It doesn't have to be a full lunge. You can do kind of a partial lunge and keep that tension on the hips, keep that tension on the glutes, and then even walk sideways up the hill. That'll fry you out big time. Give it a shot. This is the hip circle from markbellslingshot.com. Catch you all later.